Hello everyone, welcome to a beginner's tutorial on how to make a quick viewport render in Blender. My name is Wendy. A viewport render is very effective for previewing changes to a scene without having to wait for a full render to complete, or for making tutorials, creating thumbnails for videos, and other similar projects. We will also change the background color in the viewport, making the model really stand out. I'll be using Blender 3.4 so let's get started. We're going to create a very simple scene so we have something to render in the viewport. Left click on the default cube to select it. Then press X on the keyboard and delete the cube. Next, press Shift and the letter A on the keyboard. And from the Add menu under Mesh Objects, select Monkey. The monkey mesh in Blender is referred to as Suzanne. It's a low polygon model of a monkey's head. It's often used as a test object for materials, lighting, and other features in Blender. We can add some more geometry to the object. We can do this by adding a subdivision surface modifier. But first, let's move the object up to the ground level so it's on the grid. To do this, press the shortcut keys G to move the object and then Z to constrain the object to the z-axis and drag it up. Come over to the Modifiers tab and under Generate, select Subdivision Surface Modifier. We can boost the level's viewport value to 3. I'll zoom in so you can see the surface. It's not smooth yet, so right-click on the model and in the Object Context menu, select Shade Smooth. Come up to the Shading Mode buttons that are situated at the top right corner of the viewport. Right now the scene is displayed in Solid Mode. Click on the last icon to open the Shading menu. We can see the Studio Lighting method is being used. We can choose different Studio Lighting setups. In Blender, when Solid Mode is enabled, objects are displayed as solid and a pre-designed lighting setup is applied to the 3D view. This means that Blender will ignore any other lights in the scene. Let's orbit around to have a look. I'll choose this one just for now. Drop down to the background section. There are three options, theme, world, and viewport. For this video we will use the viewport option and we will customize the color of the viewport only. Click on viewport, then click in the background color to open the color picker. Before you start experimenting with the color picker, press the hex button and write down the hex value. Mine is F3, F3, F3. And after you've finished watching the video, go back and change the color. Now you can pick any color you want. However, I'll just type in the hex value I used for the thumbnail of this video, if you'd like to follow along. Type in 1-0-5-5-6-7, then hit enter on the keyboard. Click anywhere in the viewport to deselect the object. I'll zoom in a little closer. There's a very fine black outline around the object. We can disable this outline or change the hex value to the same color as we made for the background. So let's come back over to the menu, come down to outline and uncheck the black outline. That's looking much better. Okay, I'll move the model now to the center of the viewport. There we are, I'm happy with that. If you want to do a viewport render right now, the grid floor, the X and Y axis, the 3D cursor and the origin dot will also show up in the render. If you don't want to see them, you can hide them. So come up to the overlays menu, click on the icon to toggle on and off the overlays on the 3D viewport. Or in the drop down menu, you can customize some of the overlays. However, for this video, we'll hide them all. 
Now let's make a quick viewport render. Come up to the view menu and choose Viewport Render Image. And here we are, that was quick. If you'd like to save the image, you can. Go to the image menu and choose Save Image. Then save the image to your preferred format, a JPEG or a PNG, whatever. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy.